Yo, what's up guys? Today we're gonna be doing a video. It's a bit creative. It's what characters in the new Tekken 8 roster has the most drip, okay? As you guys know, Kai Creates is the ambassador of drip. <laughs> so anyways, um, what we're gonna be doing is looking one by one and looking at each one. Right now I'm on the Fighters Generation website. Go check those guys out. Those guys are pretty cool. But they have these renders here. I'm gonna be judging one by one who has it for Master Raven. I'll be swapping it out. You, you guys will get what it stands for though. So um, yeah. So let's start off with Raven just to get it out the way. Um, his new outfit it's pretty detailed. Now it's a little weeby. I feel like they kind of got a bit of inspiration from uh, what is it? Master Raven with all the flowy stuff on him, like he has this little tail thing and like it's a lot of stuff hanging off of him. I feel like they might have gotten it from Kunimitsu, something like that, or maybe Master Raven. But is now now they have stuff where it's floating on him. I do like the little swirly designs on it. Um, from the injury, you'd think he got injured. I set this like in my Master Raven review thing. You think he got injured? No, he didn't. Uh, just look at his face. Nothing's, nothing looks crazy on the guy. So um, there's not a real change. Uh, other than that, yeah, he has some normal drip. Looks pretty standard. Not too cool. Not too crazy. Not too ninja-like neither, which I'm kind of disappointed by. But hopefully they'll change that in the customization stuff. Well, you can change it anyways. This is like his default right here. But right now he's not looking too good i mean it just looks pretty normal to me i wish he had more black tone like black color scheme with like if they needed the blue and gold maybe like make that hints of it and it would actually blend in more with his blonde hair but anyways i'm gonna have to put him at where's master raven she's gonna be like the placeholder where is she at Blending in. Oh, right here. Okay. So, so far, I'm gonna be a little harsh. It's between B and C, in my opinion. Uh, you guys can say otherwise, but I'm not a big fan of this design. Looks pretty basic. So, uh, I guess we move on to the next person. Now, here, it's, this outfit is doing too much, okay? I'm gonna put, uh, uh, what is it? <laughs> That's a cool placeholder. I'm gonna, I'm gonna just put, let's see, uh, Katarina, right? This automatic D tier, what is this? Okay. It's too much colors. I don't know what's going on with the moon pendant. I don't know what's going on with the jacket. No offense if this is like, so, like it relates to something traditional, but I don't know. It just looks wacky. Not a big fan of it, especially on the gym trainer clothes. Like, look at this. Like, it just doesn't fit. And like the flower too, it's doing too much. Now I'm trying to see in my head what would she look like if she wore like some, like just the trainer clothing. Should it look like a Wii character or like some basic tutorial character where it's like, hey guys, welcome to the game. Let me introduce you to how it works and then do all the regular tutorial stuff. That's what this reminds me of and you can't change my mind on it, I'm sorry. I'm not a big fan of it, so she remains in D tier. Same for Katarina, like, that fit sucks. But, um, let's move on to Kazuya. Now this guy, okay, might be a bit biased, but, oh my gosh. Okay, it's a regular suit. You gotta pay attention to this. Without the overcoat, he's wearing a regular suit that kind of makes his torso look kind of long. Like, doesn't this kind of make him look kind of long? Pause. His torso is a bit long in this character art, but anyways, uh, other than that, yeah, this looks pretty normal. You can probably recreate his undersuit in game, and without it, right, the uh, overcoat itself actually adds to it. Now it's blue, blue, black, and red for this undertone right here with the triangle, and eh, you know, but. You can tell he's trying to hide it. So, I'd say for him, for Kazuya, 
be. I'm being really harsh on the designs, okay? I'm not a big fan of when it comes to just giving away some points, okay? Some cool points, because he's Kazuya. But other than that, yeah. I mean, pretty crazy. The way it, like, goes around like that is pretty cool, too. Uh, I'm not sure how he's doing it, kind of defying physics. But anyways, we're moving on to Jin. Now, some people have made good Jin customizations. And, uh, yeah, I'm like, okay, good for them. I love it, right? But when it comes to, like, the default outfits, the only good ones have ever been Tekken 6. And that's because they kept it very basic, cordial, and, like, somewhat edgy, but, like, not too crazy. Now, him, he just looks like he woke up. He's in, like, a post-apocalyptic world with, like, these little strands and stuff on him. And this seems pretty useless in itself. This whole thing seems useless, really. Like, is there a belt that long? But anyways, like, hmm, I don't know, I'm looking at the shoes, the boots, pants, those kind of match, but then it goes from like dark black to like a whiter gray towards the top, and I'm like, uh, the color scheme's kind of wonky, the red appears out of nowhere, I'm just not a fan of it. I'd have to give him, where's Jin? Even his Jin's outfit sucks, but I'm going to put him in C tier. Uh, now this, yes, I really like it. It's white, gray, silver, gold, I mean, not gold, gray, silver, black. It's very good, matches. Safe pick, safe color choice, uh, especially since they brought it back. I think in the other games they had this. I'm going to just put, as the placeholder, I'll use Asuka. I'm going to say A. I really like this. Um... It's not too much of anything. The white overtakes all the other colors. She even has a dove posing for the fit pick. And yeah, it's pretty good. I'm gonna move on over to page two. Let's see. So now we got King. This is just ugly. I'm gonna just place it right now. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna say it right now. This is ugly. Not a fan of it. It looks like he, yeah, is, they're doing too much. It's like Luke from Street Fighter with the white and blue. I mean, yellow and blue. And then it's ugly at the top with like purple, cyan, it's like Marduk's pants in Tekken 6. Like I don't like it. Uh, and then his mask throws it off too. I'm gonna, I'm gonna have to give King like... I'm sorry. It's doing too much. It's doing way too much. Paul? Now I like this. It's like biker. You could probably put him in some like... Chrome Hearts accessories if you really wanted to flex on you. Uh, put him in like a trucker hat or something. You know, he got some drip on, you know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah, I like it. I mean, he's it's a little tatered, but he's trying to go for that biker look. Uh, his hair totally ruins it. But I'm not judging on the hair. I'm going to have to... Um, like, the hair isn't really throwing it off. None of these... None of, no one's hair in the in these uh, art stuff throws it off. Now, I did complain at first, but I'm like, you know, he looks kind of Chad, and I feel like in customization, you bring him, uh, not his regular hair back, but like, you, you shave it off or something, bro, go for like a much more like, less aloof look, you know, I don't even know if that's the right word. I'd say, yeah, it looks pretty cool. Um, I'd have to put Paul... I'm gonna say B. Yeah. That's a B. Uh, Law? No, this dude's Bruce Lee, you know the... <sighs> you know what I mean? I can't really do that. I got like a couple chairs around me right now, so I kick it down. So that's why I hopped around like this. I'm sorry. Um, look at his pants right here. You can see it's like a cool mix of modern pants uh, and shoes. But then he also has like the... It seems like training gear, or is this like monk related? I don't know. I don't know. But overall, it's yeah, it's simple enough. It's a really good delivery for Bruce Lee. Uh, they're not just using the yellow and black suit like I've seen many times. So I'd say I'd give him. Where is he? Bruce Lee. Not Bruce Lee. Law. I'm gonna say. C because he's in the middle because it's just supposed to appease Bruce Lee. So um yeah, 
Uh, on to the next character. So what we have here is Lars doing his hand on the red, you know, act looking like a fool. Look at his hair, man. I, but I'm not judging on the hair, as I said, um, you know, they just do whatever with their hair. But the fit, okay, I liked his Tekken 6 fit, okay, now. That might change my opinion drastically, because I really liked that one. Uh, very compact, nothing flying off. I hate stuff that just flies off of a character, okay? It makes them look annoying. I don't know how to explain it, but... So, he's already doing too much by that. But, I do like the white and gold, as you guys know. I customize all my characters in that, because it looks clean on any Tekken character. Now, it's not my favorite color scheme. Mine's like green and black cyber look you know but you know, overall like white and gold is pretty clean now i don't like what they did with this blue again that looks annoying especially out the lion's mouth that looks annoying i might just be really annoyed today for no reason but this is like actually annoying it, it, this could have been clean now, i might actually photoshop this in my spare time just to see how it looked okay so um yeah i'm putting lars wait did i judge this guy uh lars I mean, Law? Yes, I did. Okay, so I'm gonna put Lars. Hmm, where is he? Oh, Lars right here. I was gonna put him right here. But with that blue? And it's ticking me off? He's getting put in C. I, I can't. It's too bad. Now, Nina. Okay, black, purple. That raven look, that raven color, she even got like the Zafina heels on, I just realized that. Yeah, this is pretty dope. So, what I'm thinking is, I mean, she kind of stole Zafina's whole flow in Tekken 7. What's really big difference is more hanging, stuff hanging off, okay? This actually ticks me off. It's not as bad. She got the daggers, I think she always had that. No, no, she had the gun on her waist. Yeah, the jacket kind of throws it off but it kind of doesn't because of the leggings but overall yeah it looks pretty nice I think um they did well I don't like how they did her hair but you know and the glasses the glasses just don't fit her face but I'm gonna have to judge Nina where is she it's much better than her Tekken 7 outfit I have to consider that yeah it's between A and B so you guys can make your mind up here and tell me what you guys think down below uh, yeah, let's move on to the next character. So now we have Annoying Lily. Okay, I'm not gonna lie, her outfit's good. Um, I don't like the red on it. They could've kept it white and pink. But I guess it's to symbolize her being a literal relative to a demon. So I guess they, they did great with that. But this does not excuse that she's annoying. So, you know what? I'm putting her here. Because any person who plays Lily can't be redeemed, and they don't know how to actually play the game. <laughs> I'm just joking, I'm just joking. Uh, I'm putting her B, but I'm not joking about my statement that I said before, so you guys can just deal with that. Now, Zhao Yu, automatic dub. Okay, where is she? Okay, I'm putting her S tier. This is dope. Literally matches every, all the way through intricate details. Okay, look at the shoes. It's black, I mean it's brown, orange, gold, and it travels all the way through, all the way through the outfit. And there's nothing hanging off, which is dope, okay? Maybe around the ankles, but I'm not even gonna look at that, so it's like, dude, this is as good as you can get, so that's why she deserves to be right here. So yeah, let's move on to it. Now, I forgot all about Asuka. Uh... Asuka placeholder. What's another annoying character? You know, yeah, right here. Asuka placeholder, right here. So, um, yeah, she's going right down to D tier. What is this outfit color? Is it like. I don't know. It's like blue, pink, white. It's like the worst color scheme I've ever seen. In the worst drip ever, and then for no reason is brown and pink at the bottom. Nah. Okay. Now, yes, he's the grandmaster of drip. Okay, but I'm the predecessor of him, so don't mind the character tag, but 
I'm not gonna lie. He's kind of matching here. Now the alligator pants is kind of throwing it off. I'm not even gonna lie. That's kind of... But overall, like, it, it's, it works. I gotta give Leroy certified S. I mean, it throws it off, though, kind of. So I'm gonna put it to A. It's not perfect. Yo. Okay. How about you do that? Okay. I'm back. So what we have here now is Jack 8. Now, Jack 8, it's not really drip. It's just the essentials. So I'm gonna have to go from aesthetic-wise. If I was saw him in, like, some cyber city, cyber gothic city yeah that'd be dope like he has like literal tubes going through him and he looks like the terminator i'd have to give him definitely well it's not really drip so i'm gonna just put him in b like it's good no 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 i'm taking this down to here i remember that red it's annoying me now so she's going down there character renders claudio horrible i hate this character Okay, I hate the way he stands, I hate his story, I hate his outfit, and that's why he deserved literal, like, five seconds to be introduced. Um, his blue glowing hand ruins any potential for a fit. The gold is totally thrown off, it's like put in separate areas, his whole outfit's mainly white, and then his hair and tattoo. Stupid like a tattoo and eye. Yeah, this is bad. This is down here. Like at the very end, okay? It's just bad. War ring, very simple. He has construction clothing color schemes going on. And then like these weird suit shoes for no reason. His hair, yeah, the hair works. I'd say if he stood normally, like everyone else here, you know, that'd bump him up a bit. But yeah, I mean, it's pretty normal, pretty basic. I'm gonna have to give him... I'm gonna have to give him a C. Where's he at? I can't find him. Oh, right here. Yeah, I'm gonna give him a C. You know, it's pretty mediocre. But does these mean these are mediocre? Yeah, he did belongs in B. Even these aren't mediocre. So... I guess D just stands for bad and mediocre, so... You guys can make your mind up on those, too. Now, Brian? The new... Brian? The new? Nah. Pants are too tight, the way he's standing is looking a little zesty, he's holding his mouth like he's constipated, he's like, <clears throat> like law, you know, where he's like, <clears throat> you know, like, nah, nah, I'm sorry, but, yeah, that's not good in my opinion, uh, on top of this, like, he used to look so much cooler, that's why it's a bump down, so I might have to give Brian... Let's see, where is he at? Down here. Yeah, he, he goes down there. Let's see, um... Kuma. Kuma has Heihachi stuff. I think. Let's see. Okay, so right here is Kuma the second wearing Heihachi stuff. I'm not sure how it survived the lava, but yeah, I mean, honestly, he's kind of dripping, man. Put a, you know what I mean? Like, this might be a super strange pick, but I see some, I see some fire in it, man. I see some ultimate fire. Where's he at? Right here. I'm putting it to A. I'm sorry. You guys probably think I'm crazy. Okay, so I found the Tekken.com fighters website. I literally couldn't find it. It's near impossible. They should probably like put advertisements up so people can access it easier. That's all I'm saying. Might do better for their SEO stuff too. But overall, uh, we've reviewed most of these guys all the way up here. Every single one of them. So now all we have left is Leo and all these guys so uh, we already did Kuma he got drip so let's move on over to uh, Leo now Leo is one of my favorite characters okay people say my video wasn't too good on her guide I feel like it works because I'm able to beat even like TGO characters with Leo using what I taught so uh, it's whatever no disrespect to anyone who gave me help but uh, I was gonna remake the video, and then I was like, nah, because this works for me, so I'm gonna give my own god. You guys can play regular Tekken if you want. I'm gonna play it like how I do, you know? So, yeah, Leo, um, her drip is pretty much non-existent, I'm sorry. Tekken 6 has max drip, literally, um, the best drip I've seen. 
It's like one of the best. So I'm gonna have to bump it down. Tech an eight, sorry to say. D, and I mean in terms of like actually bad. So uh, yeah, let's move on to the next character. So now we have Steve. Now Steve, in my opinion, always has just regular boxing fits from what I've seen, but this one just looks ugly. I'm sorry, this overcoat, it just looks bad. I'm not sure if it's because he's reaching it. If he was regularly standing up, maybe that'd change my mind, but so far. And he has that cheeky smile too, bro, nah, nah. That just made me mad, nah. You're getting put in D tier, buddy. That's just too bad. Uh, we got Yoshimitsu here. Uh, I tried finding him on other websites, but it wasn't clear pictures. Now, we get to address this. Now, he has like a really cool outfit. It reminds me of Soul Calibur, his version on there. Third eye in the middle of his forehead. Pretty cool, looks like a Egyptian character. As soon as I saw him in that reveal trailer, I was like, yeah, that's Egyptian inspired or something. You better have like Zafina crawling like, you know, against the floor or something. Okay, something cool. Um, his gameplay style, in my opinion, isn't too interesting, so that's why I haven't played him. I have played all the other weird characters though, but enough yapping. Yeah, it's more so like red, blue, not too drippy, but it's an aesthetic. So I'm gonna have to put him up at B. I'm gonna put him at B. Where's Yoshi? I could say he's seen better days, better outfits. He's put on like the wrong clothes in Tekken 7 though, but for this one, yeah, I'd say B. Overall, it's really cool. I must say, I think this time though, he has two long swords instead of one being shorter, right? Or maybe I'm tripping. In that picture, he was holding like two, and they were like the same size. Pause. I'm not sure if that's even a pause. <laughs> It just sounds sus. Uh, now Shaheen, again with this red and blue, I don't know what's up with these. It's like if you're not the main character, you're not wearing a solid color. Like, look at this. If you're a main character, Kazuya, mostly black, blue, hints of red, right? Uh, another main character, uh, let's see, I don't know. Yeah, red, black, right? And white. It's like... All the other characters, they're wearing mixed colors if you're not, like, strongly associated with the story. Overall, I must say Shaheen has drip decreased ever since his debut game, Tekken 7. The game's not even out and I'm already speaking like that. Unless they got some good customizations from this, nah. And they added, like, this weird heavy VR headset looking outfit on it top of his head. It just looks bad. Yeah, I'm gonna have to put him um, right here. Okay, I'm a harsh critic. You see all these characters in D tier. Yeah, it's just too bad. I haven't seen his bio yet, so I'm gonna have to read his story because it's more fleshed out now. And finally, we have Dragonov. Now, Dragonov is one of my arch nemesis when I play, like, rushdown characters. And I'm not really good with him neither because it's just strange. Why isn't this picture showing up? Okay, now he shows up. He was, he was too shy about his outfit. Let's grade this. Now, this outfit's dope, okay? It reminds me of his Tekken 6 art where he's in like that fur coat, I think. Or maybe that was Miguel. I'm probably tripping. But um, this is overall good, okay? They could they could have made this blacker. I think if this was the dark it is now, like the black it is now, and this is like grayish black instead of greenish, bluish black, this would be dope. Gray hoodie with like the details yeah yeah this dude got socks right now you can tell he instead of going to the tournament just pinning on anything bro he was like hmm what should i pick today and he's like literally like just like okay i'm gonna go for the safe but still good approach okay uh so yeah he dragging off for this game we're ending it on a good note uh where is he s tier this is s tier and then the bell buckle too the Chrome Hearts belt, skull belt buckle. <laughs> I love saying it like that. Um, yeah, that's super good. I I gotta give props to whoever made the character design for that. He really brought the sauce. So yeah, that's all of these characters so far. Tell me what you guys think. You guys can even write down your list or be like, oh, you was close, but correct it. It's whatever. Remember, it's all subjective. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed the video and hopefully agree with my opinion if you don't that's okay too make sure to check out my new song i released a new song called different arsenal it's fire okay it's one of the songs i have i haven't released music in like years so it's like eventually i was just like you know what? i want to do music again so i did it 
And yeah, I've improved my skills, so you guys probably, well, yeah, yeah you guys definitely won't be disappointed. And don't forget to subscribe too. If you guys want to see more of me, I know you guys like clicking on this handsome, bedazzling face. Uh, I know you guys don't click on it for that. Uh, other than that, yeah, leave a like, subscribe, and yeah, I'm gonna go catch you guys later. Peace.